I'm Keith Cates. And I'm Stacey Scheibel. Thank you for joining us. Tampa police made an embarrassing mistake in a rush to announce a suspect in the Seminole Heights serial killing. They allowed a career criminal posing as a sign language interpreter to take center stage at their news conference. And according to experts, most of what she communicated on live TV last Tuesday night was gibberish. Eight on your side, investigator Mark Douglas joins us live. And Mark, I know you drug and dug into the interpreter's criminal background. How did she talk her way inside? What did you find out? Well, it's easier than you might think. You know, this phony baloney interpreter has created quite an embarrassment, as you say, for Tampa police. It all started uh, last week, uh, Tuesday night, when they uh, we were justifiably proud about uh, catching what they believed to be the killer in the Seminole Heights killings. And it unfolded up there on the second floor at a news conference in the inner sanctum of Tampa Police Headquarters. It was the most dramatic moment in a 51-day manhunt for the Seminole Heights killer. I am pleased to announce that tonight we will be making an arrest in the Seminole Heights murders. But the person signing that announcement to a deaf audience on live TV last Tuesday night was speaking gibberish with her hands. Even deaf educators at USF were confused. But I wasn't able to really understand anything that was going on. All of the other interpreters that could have been standing there and been signing the information clearly. What in the world is this person doing up there waving her hand? The interpreter at Tampa Police Headquarters that night was Derlyn Roberts, a career criminal with at least 31 cases on her record who just got out of prison last year after serving years behind bars for organized fraud. I let her in. Tampa Police spokesman Steve Hagerty says in the rush of the late night news conference, Roberts presented herself as a qualified deaf interpreter and no one questioned her credentials. I have to tell you, my reaction to that was that I was grateful. Apparently somebody had called her, I thought. The trouble is no one called Roberts. The convicted fraud artist with a 20-year history of criminal activity invited herself, and she stood just feet away from the chief and mayor in TPD's inner sanctum. The worst part is she did a terrible job. Is anybody here concerned at all about the security issue that night? No, I don't think it's a security issue. I think the issue is that she was unqualified to do the service that she was trying to provide. Now, we wanted to ask Derlyn Roberts about that. We searched high and low for her today at her Tampa home, as well as the private school, the former private school that we believe she ran just before she was arrested and convicted and went to prison for organized fraud. But she was nowhere in sight, unlike last Tuesday when she was on everybody's television screen. Now, Steve Hagerty, who you just heard from, uh, assures me that this sort of thing will never happen again on his watch anyway. He says he's going to make darn sure that the next interpreter that walks into Tampa Police Headquarters is fully vetted and comes from the company that the city does business with instead of just inviting herself in like this woman did. Boy, Stacey? Embarrassing at just a critical time. Awful. All right. Thank you, Mark.